Oh wow, that's really cool. Oh hey folks, welcome back to Barlow Barbecue. I'm test testing out these uh, glasses for viewing the solar eclipse with. And that's coming up in just a couple days, so I thought I'd watch a video with the total solar eclipse on it to get warmed up. But you can't really see anything in these things. Let me tell you about uh, what we got planned for today's cook. I've got a couple racks of St. Louis ribs and we're going to be making a chipotle blackberry sauce to glaze those with and we're going to be making a cauliflower mac and cheese yeah I'm sure you're wondering what that's all about you gotta stay tuned though so stick around let's get started So to start off, I'm setting up my Weber kettle grill for indirect cooking. And I'm going to light 14 charcoal briquettes with a Weber lighting cube. I'm telling you, those things are awesome. They waste no time in getting your charcoal lit. And 14 charcoal briquettes are going to shoot me right in the range that I want to cook at today, which is 250 to 275 degrees. Once those are lit, I'm going to add those to two charcoal baskets. And then I'm going to add some unlit charcoal to fill up both baskets. And that's going to provide a really nice even temperature over the next several hours. Now with that all set up, let's get the ribs ready to rub up and put on the, on the grill. So today I've got two St. Louis style racks and they weigh about three and a half pounds each, give or take a couple. And I'm going to use my Barlow Pig Rub and that's just a basic easy rub that's good on pork recipe for that is down below in the description box just click show more and we're going to get a nice even liberal rub on both of the racks and that should do it looking pretty good okay so i believe it's time to check the grill and see if it's come up to temp and we can get the ribs on yep temperature's at 275 so perfect it's time to get the ribs on there Hi there, it's great to see you again. Today for a side to go with our ribs, I thought we'd try a lightened up macaroni and cheese. So we're going to place the macaroni with vegetables. So we're going to use some cauliflower and fresh corn, some summer squash, poblano peppers for a little heat. We're going to grill all these up on the grill with some garlic butter and mix it with a cheese sauce and smoke it for about two hours. Remember that rosé butter we made? We decided we're going to use that too. Alright, it's been three hours. I want to check on the ribs, see how they're doing, and I also want to check on the charcoal because the baskets I'm using today are a little bit smaller. So, uh, grill temp right now is at 253, so that's uh, perfecto. We are still cooking uh, the cauliflower and the squash right behind me, and that's almost ready. 
Yeah, guys, these are looking really, really good. Starting to pull back from the bone a little bit. And we're gonna get the lid back on there and leave it alone for another few hours. Looking good. Okay, it looks like this is done. This is a cauliflower and a summer squash. We're gonna remove that from the heat. And this was on there probably for about 15 to 20 minutes. There was a little finagling because it was hot in there. So keep an eye on it. All right, now we're gonna take our grilled corn and add that to our cauliflower mixture. When I took the peppers off the grill and they were good and black, I put them in a Ziploc bag and that's gonna help them be a little easier to peel. So this is what it looked like, all black. And it's been in there probably just about 15 minutes. You can see the skin comes right off. We're gonna mix in some sour cream and cottage cheese, half and half, hot sauce, all sorts of good stuff, along with a whole bunch of cheese. We're gonna mix that in and we're gonna to top it with some fried onions because we're keeping this gluten free. Remember, it's healthy. Good to be back with you. It's time to make our sauce. I've got some blackberry jam, and to that I'm gonna add a couple of chipotles and adobo sauce. I'm gonna chop those up, and then I'm gonna mix that all together. And then from there, I'm gonna figure out what it may need. Let's give it a try. Mm, that's really good. I'm gonna add just a little bit of salt and pepper to it. Try the sauce. I think that's great right now. I'm gonna leave it alone. So let's go check on the ribs. All right, like I said, we're closing in on six hours. So let's take a look. These ribs are looking really good. I wanna check for some tenderness. So I've got a little meat probe here. Oh boy. These are feeling really good, y'all. I think it's time for a bend test. Look at that, folks. No doubt about it. We're gonna get these off of here. We're gonna wrap them in some foil. Let's glaze them real quick first, and then we're gonna wrap them in some foil. All right, we're gonna glaze these puppies up. an hour let's check on the macaroni and cheese Ooh, that looks great I'm gonna pull it off and let it cool for about 15 minutes and let the whole thing congeal all right now that the cauliflower mac and cheese is ready to go I've unwrapped the ribs and it's time to cut into these bad boys better believe it Pour some wine. All right, we'd like to thank Sour Grapes Wine for dropping off some great wine for us to drink with our dinner today. I'm pretty excited about these ribs. Me too. Cheers. Oh, cheers. Cheers to you guys. Thanks for hanging out today. Yes. All right, let's do it. All right, I'm digging in. Just grabbing one and going for it. You've done it again. All right, thank you very much. These are really good. I'm really happy with this, and I'm looking forward to trying out that cauliflower mac and cheese. Me too. Let's get on in there. Mm. 
Now that is some smoky, cheesy goodness right there. I would never tell that I've substituted macaroni for cauliflower. <laughs> I would be able to tell, but I just wouldn't care. Yeah, I guess, you know, <laughs> you say tomato, I say tomato, right? It's really good. This is excellent. All right, I can't wait to eat this with the ribs. Settle in, drink a little bit more wine. I want to thank you all so much for hanging out today. If this video was enjoyable, please hit the like button down below. We would love to hear from you. Please leave a comment down below as well. If you have any questions about what we're doing, let us know. We might be able to have an answer for you. <laughs> and if you're a first time visitor just checking us out, subscribe if you haven't already. We would love to connect with you. So I'm going to say until next time, smoke them if you got them. And uh, That's oh, right. just one more thing before we go, we're going to leave you with a little moment with Taco.